afternoon everyone i'll be speaking here about a technology with a social cause this is the present situation of the world the development versus environment controversy has caught the popular imagination because nobody can remain untouched by either the economic development or its environmental implications there is always a trade off between these two issues and due to that there is a need to strike a balance between them environmentalists and experts have created a beautiful neutral line in between and have termed it as sustainable development wherein you don't hamper the mother nature but on the other hand you do develop without romanticizing much let me get into the present situation of the world wherein out of the total energy consumption about 12 trillion watts comes from the fossil fuels which is a huge amount and due to this the global temperature has now rise which we as we all know and the basic reason behind the being the carbon concentration which is already around 396.8 ppm and the only way to tackle this is to move towards renewable energy and if we maximize that then our future prognosis of achieving a safer limit of 350 ppm is actually possible but when we hear the term renewable energy the three basic core demerits which we are reminded of apart from the fact that they don't require fuel is it has a high initial cost it's an alternate source of energy and the storage efficiencies are bad in terms of battery losses we a team of four have started a company called energy made greener and we have been providing energy solutions in and around by energy i mean green energy we have provided solutions ranging from solar panel power improvement to the wind turbine cost reduction and here i'll be speaking about the later part cost reduction believe me cost reduction is the most populous way to reach the masses another gesture of a thought was that moving towards individual households in terms of renewable energy is actually a better solution and a better way to tackle the overall global power crisis so we, we took a 1 kilowatt horizontal axis wind turbines as a study and in that if you see on the top picture it's a normal full foil which is used in the normal wind turbines and all that but on the below is our discovery it's just simple we used only one half of the blade and we found that it's actually enough for the wind turbines and we cliched it under the title half foil technology we were actually inspired by the right brothers right flyer the first flight in which they used this and then on the cost reduction part the major inclination would be that if you reduce the blade into one half the cost would also have been reduced to half but it did not that way on the contrast it reduced to a drastic amount of just rupees 1500 which is a cost reduction of more than 80% so this cost reduction the main aim is that you should pump in more number of consumers as well as the indigenous manufacturers into the green energy market making earth a better place to live and then the, for the software evaluation part the software used was the cube blade and then the method was blade element momentum method which is too technical which is re reliable also a less complex compared to a full cfd analysis and then the common question which we were posed with during our experiment was that okay it's all cool about using the half foil ones but what about the performance is that a good comparison between the performance of the full foil and the half foil ones yeah it is because this is the performance curve between power and wind velocity for the full foil ones shown in the green the power obtained at the rated velocity of 10 meter per second is around 1440 watts and for the half foil ones shown in the red the power obtained at the same rated velocity of 10 meter per second is around 1380 which is actually short by 60 watts a cost reduction of more than 10000 will actually outweigh the power reduction of just 60 watts right in india the small wind turbine industry is in the stages of infancy so we all we do that is that we imported from other countries so the cost of manufacture of blades is around 13 to 15000 but in our case the cost is just 1500 so the cost reduction of 10000 will actually enhance the green energy market and then on the other part if you are a conservationist and who goes on about the loss of 60 watts then i do have a solution for you by increasing the length of the blades by 5 to 10 percent you can actually get back those 60 watts how is that if you increase the length of the blades by 5 to 10 percent you actually increase the swept area indirectly which is in direct proportionality with the power so you actually get the power back and then after these all these explanations let me give a gist of what we actually did with the manufacturing of the blades this is our prologue of our experiment and it all started with the burma teak wood and then the preparation of the mold from the plug and then the blade from the mold this is me at work and then on the left you can see the plug of burma teak and then the mold and then the blade and on the right you can see two sets of blades the basic tagline behind the screen of all this is that bring your resources to the needy at an affordable cost and there is an urgent need and a pretty tight timeline
thought you really knew, that's when great ideas are born. I hope I, I would have raised some questions before you. Thank you. Thank you.